Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 23 of Let's Play Lux Invicta. I am King Sigurd the First of Germania. I am almost authoritative enough to cause people to like me, but not quite. This will be a perfect size thing. Let's just let's just allow them to combine. So you guys go there. Okay, so looter, looter. Go there, go there, go there. Flag them all as looters now, so don't forget. We're going to loot all of this. And somebody said that they think that I can use my boats, but I don't think I have any boats. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Without boats, it doesn't matter. Oh, we don't even have enough to siege that one. Wow. Well, I guess we'll send some reinforcements then. And we're going to loot the di loot the crap out of you guys. It's going to be glorious. What the heck? I thought that just a second ago that thing was like, there was like no loot bar. But apparently now there is. Did their, like, castle, like their, all this stuff just go up all of a sudden? Maybe because they have a defensive religion or something? I don't know. Ooh, we have a claim that we can press on behalf of a courtier. One of my women that I set aside. Apparently she somehow got a claim. On the county of Aland. Well, that's not going to happen. Gataland is is quite large. Actually, wow. That's Gataland. It's actually quite big. So we'll burn all of this to the ground, because we can. And I hope that this gives me some money. At least it got rid of the authority problem. Hey, do you, do you, either, do any of you have money? Oh, he has money in prison. And who's your heir? Now we'll just ransom him. For the crown. Give me your money. And educate child. Somebody else. Now before we give him to him, let's imprison this one too. Oh, he's raised his flag in rebellion. All right, well. I guess we'll have to go deal with that, won't we? We'll just use our personal levy. Oh, we do have boats. We have five, four. If you actually want to cross a, a big river, I'm, I'm more than willing to lead these troops. Here. One thing I love is that you can actually move commanders while you're sieging and while you're in unfriendly territory. Unlike in EU4. So yeah, if you actually want to cross a major river, I don't think you do. I can't afford to place, replace my spy master. This should be very easy to put down, though. Of course, I could die in combat, which would be awesome. I will lead the entire army, because I'm amazing. Let's go. Let's go get him! Slow the game down so we can watch. Get him! He's in, he's in the hills, plus 40% archer defense. Kind of makes sense. We're doing a devastating shield wall tactic. 81% chance of that. This guy's doing... whatever. This guy barely has any morale at all. In fact, he's blind. Why would you have a blind man lead the, lead the troops? Okay, as soon as we get to the melee phase, we're going to kick your butt. Look at that damage bonus. Morale defense. Reducing incoming damage by 44%. We're going to kick your butt. I'm amazing. Oh my gosh, prepare to die. That's right, run away. <laughs> Flee from me. You are going to die soon. Oh, we have enough money, we can get a new spy master. We'll chase him down. Die. Die. I agree. Everyone die. I have such bloodlust. Go back to speed three, there's no point. It's simple. We've won the battle. 
Now hopefully he just surrenders, because I don't really want to see just holding. Although, we could get some money out of it, so I guess it's a good idea. And these first, these castles are all about to be burned. Get some prisoners, some young ladies. For some reason we can't actually kill this guy. I still have this uh, succession loss, title loss on succession. My lunatic son needs an educator. Who better than me? Oh, cool. If we win the war, we gain 200 authority. Wait, what? Erla's image gains 200 authority, and I... Okay, if he loses the war, I just gain 50. I was looking at it from his perspective. Oh, right, more prisoners. Lots of them, actually. Let's uh, let's ransom them, see if we can get some money. All this because I'm trying to create the empire. Of Theodisiech. More people are trying to kill me. Stop trying to murder me, please. You better stop. I'll kill you. I have to spend money on this, but I'd rather not die. I'm no longer well respected. Oh good, she'll finally end her plot. She's no longer upset with me. Good. My scheming was obviously misdirected. Yeah, that's right, get over it. And actually we can imprison this mayor now. Which we will. And then we'll release him. No. Do we still have the vassal opinion modifier? Released prisoner. No. So 25 gold or plus 10 opinion with everybody. Uh, we'll take the opinion, I think. No, wait, he's a mayor. That's right. He's a mayor, so it doesn't count. We'll ransom him. Yeah, it has to be at least a count. So like this guy. Let's throw him in prison. And then we'll release him. Of course, that makes him not like me very much, but, you know, whatever. All right, let's win our war. Continue to burn stuff to the ground, because it's fun. I, again, I'm still surprised that this kid is living. We could bribe the spy master. That might help it along quite quickly. Are you going to join? Do I have to do it manually? Nope, there he is. 448%. That's quite good. Something is changing. Well-respected keeps happening and then not happening. I don't know what we're bouncing back and forth between. Oh, good. We're over a thousand authority. Hopefully we upgrade the laws to respected. That will make a big difference going from no taxation to some taxation. Oh dear, my reputation is ruined. Oh no. The plot continues. We're still going to murder the man. And nobody cares. Not really. More prisoners. You surrender. Excellent. And uh, I will ransom you. I just want your money. Not him, you. Yeah, he won't pay for her, but he'll pay for himself. That's kind of funny. Minor defensive war no longer affecting us. Moderate. Be moderate, my child. Priest class now openly respect me. Excellent. That means maybe we'll start getting some church taxation. Nope. Looks like church taxation is still basically nothing. Clergy vassal tax is at negative 5.2%. So even at respected, clergy vassal tax plus 10. It must be, I must have a modifier from my religion or something. Stressed cat, yeah. It's one of these things. It causes it to not be there. Or it could be my furnish chichik. Yeah, clergy vassal tax. Murder the boy, please. Oh, apparently we burned all these to the ground already. Uh, so let's un untoggle looter and then just keep looting. We'll just siege them again. 
Because we can. I feel like that's really gamey. And that's not the mod's fault. That's just, just CK2 in general. Because you end up being hostile to them and you can you can siege when you're hostile. Raiders have arrived to loot and pillage. Get out of my land. I'm the looter and pillager, not you. The warrior class now respect me. No taxation though. Actually it should there should be taxation, but it's shown shown as zero. That's weird. Respected. Everyone respects me. Okay, can we ransom prisoners again? It's not an option. I only have four. No one's plotting against me for once. That's good. Except that this stupid kid still will not die. Yes! I believe that's number 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, that'll be number 14. So there's the pregnant woman. Not pregnant, not pregnant, not pregnant. Stupid concubines. Such failures. They have one job. Just please me. Come on, make babies. Oh, I almost have enough money to make the empire. Heathens attacked me when I tried to spread the holy faith. Okay. A son. A lunatic bastard. Udo. We'll just denounce this one. He still still counts as a son. And actually, that means that I've got 15. Don't I? Yes, this will be number 15. Perfect. Hopefully she survives all the way to the end. And then we'll have our 15, and then we can take the ambition, and then we almost have enough money. It's almost, ah, it's perfect. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna create the empire. Wow, that's a lot of prisoners. Ransom. Or I could take advantage of this hostile war that we're doing, and uh, since we pre-sieged all this, we might end up with uh, enough war score to just win and take all this land. If I did attack you, we could use the Glorious Conquest of Wendia. Apparently this is how you make money. I know what I'm gonna do. No. Finally, we're gonna kill the kid. But I know what I can do. When, when I create the Empire, I'll just rename it to something I can actually pronounce, like Arumbia. Because I can't pronounce that thing. No, we'll let you write. In fact, let's just rename Germany. The name is, is not Germania, it's Arumbia. And Arumbian. There we go. Got the, the Kingdom of Arumbia. Doesn't that look pretty? It's kind of a strange... Strange little icon. Or box. Looks funny. Come on, murder the kid! Murder him! The plot fired. Kill him. Success! Apparently it's become obvious. So everyone knows. Everyone knows that I'm this lunatic that's just murdering people, and they don't seem to care. In fact, they actually... Most people respect me pretty well. They're like, yeah, he's, he's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> he's... It's fine. Sure, he can murder me next, but... Excellent. No longer do we have a succession loss. So perhaps we should go back to the genius... The genius lunatic. He's only seven, but look at that. Fantastic diplomacy. That guy hates me. Murdered close kin. So what? It's not a big deal. Let's try this one again. Well, apparently we're gonna have to deal with him. Was it your father who I dueled with? No, I don't know who you are. You need to die.
I think we can bribe her. Nah. Let's just see how it goes from there. I need to have that 15th child. My wife needs to spit out this baby so that I can change my ambition. Because apparently the authority that you gain from it's pretty big. And I'm hoping that it will be... Oh, I'm unfaithful. She's upset about that. Huh. Ah. Well, I'm hoping that it's enough that we'll be able to get up to devotion so that we can then maybe go up to moderate control. Yes! There we go. It's a girl. Who's apparently... has the blood of Ivar. Cool. Pick a new ambition. Um, become exalted among men. Become emperor. 500 authority. There we go. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here, though. <laughs> I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.